Hello friends, let us learn a new topic today that is posterior compartment of arm. The posterior compartment of arm consists of only one muscle which is the triceps muscle. Triceps muscle has three heads. One, it is the um, long head, the other medial head, the other lateral head. The medial head is called medial because it is medial to the spiral group. The lateral head is named as lateral because it is lateral to the spiral group. That is radial group. So, the long head arises from the infraglenoid tubercle. So, this is the glenoid fossa and this is the infraglenoid tubercle. It originates in the infraglenoid tubercle, long head. And it comes downwards and it gets inserted. And it combines with the medial head. Medial head, it originates from the triangular area just below or medial to the radial group. Whereas, the lateral head, it originates from the oblique ridge just above or uh, you know, lateral to the radial group. So, both these heads, medial head and lateral head, they, they combine together and they form the triceps muscle and it gets inserted into the posterior part of superior surface of polycrinon. Some of its fibers can get inserted into the capsular part of the humerus. So, the, those fibers which get inserted in the capsule, they are called as articularis cubiti or subanconius. Sub so, let me just show you this again. In a on the bone so that you will understand better. So this is the humerus. So if you see the bone, sorry, the muscle, it starts from the infraglenoid tubercle. So this is the glenoid fossa. This is supraglenoid tubercle. This is the infraglenoid tubercle. So it starts from the infraglenoid tubercle here that is first that is the long head and then in this bone i cannot <laughs> spiral spiral groove is not so prominent but spiral groove is somewhere here so assuming that the spiral groove is here it originates above the spiral groove that is the lateral head below the spiral groove that is the medial head all the muscle will come down and it gets inserted into the posterior part of olecranian fossa so this is the posterior part of olecranian fossa posterior surface of olecranian fossa so so somewhere here posterior part of superior surface of olecranian fossa it is somewhere here it olecranian process so it gets inserted over the olecranian process so this is the olecranian process so this is the choroid process posteriorly this is the olecranian process so posterior part of superior surface of olecranian process so it gets inserted somewhere here Okay, so this is the insertion of posterior triceps muscle. So what is the nerve supply? The nerve supply of triceps is by radial nerve. So this is about the posterior compartment of arm. I think you understood it. So thank you guys for watching my lecture. If you have any doubts, please comment it in the comment section. If you feel something is inadequate in this lecture, even then comment it in the comment section. Thank you for watching my lecture. Thank you.